Elizabeth's craft room. Today I'm going to do a sort of a show and tell video looking at Grace's garden. So we've got these beautiful stamps and we have dies. And I really wanted to talk a little bit about what you can do with these. Um, so looking at the dies, you've got a gate piece that cuts an archway and a joined gate. And you have um, an aperture piece so that you can cut a hole and have the um, archway going through. Now other stamps that are in here cut a gate, they cut the flowers, they cut really beautiful little leaves. We've got three that cut little roses, four that cut little daisies and we've also got one for a cat um, and for a bird and more flowers over there. So um, yeah lots of dyes in there. So let's have a little look at how this um, is designed to work. Well let's start off with the fact that you can just stamp and colour. And this has been done with um, watercolour. So I've used my um, I've used my inks and squeezed the ink into the lid of my um, my um, ink pad and then used um, aqua painters um, to actually paint um, on here. Uh, really fun technique. You can also use blends, of course. Um, to colour or you can use watercolour pencils. So there's one, here's some more. So this one I've just um, cut out a little bit of the uh, the leaves and one of those little rose pieces. Um, with this one I decided to make a more kind of um, rustic gate. So instead of having this, this shaped gate I just stamped several times using this little piece here and made a kind of a, a rustic cottage gate um, going on there. So you probably you might like that or not like it, but just something else that you can um, you can do. And how I achieved that is that that's the gate going backwards. So I've actually used the gate, um, so the gate's kind of like there, if, if that makes sense when you look at this one. So I've kind of stamped that piece there and then added some extra. So that's that one there. Um, another thing to notice, so here I've got this climbing one going up here and on this one here we're starting to come over the top. Now because these are photopolymer stamps you can take that long piece there and you can position this into more of an arc. So if you want that to go round a corner, that's one of the advantages of photopolymer stamps. You can actually stamp it rather than just straight, you can stamp that going around the corner there. And that's what I've done on this one. And you can see here, I've got the cutout gate piece and we'll look a little bit closer at that in a minute. I've also cut out my little cat. And another one, just very simple, little bit of simple stamping and colouring. And again, all I've got cut out there um, is our little pussycat. So let's have a look now when we bring in the die. So or the die set. So here what I've done is to cut an aperture into the back of the card, into the, the card itself, then cut out the gate. And the gate, when it cuts out, says join together like so. But you can then just snip up in between and then you've got a gate that opens. And so that is my, you know, simple card again. I've used some of the um, the dies down at the bottom, made these little daisies. Um, done a little bit of stamping across the top. And so that's one idea, um, using the gate. Um, another one that's very simple is the only stamping on it. There is a happy birthday. Um, everything else on, on there is just die cut. Um, so I've die cut the gate. Here I didn't cut. I um, cut, cut and make it opening. I've just got it down flat. I've got it popped up on mini dimensionals. I've cut out lots of these little, I think I cut four pieces of this little green one. And my tip with this one, with the little roses, is instead of leaving them flat I've given them a little squish and it just gives them that that really kind of 3D look to them. I used um, 
a tiny hole punch to make the centres of the flowers. But you could use um, some um, rhinestones or other bling um, to make the centres of your flowers. So that's that one. And then this one here was a bit of a labour of love. So I've turned my gate into an arched window and we have a window box here as well. So um, what I've done, you can see if you look from the side, it's kind of layered up there. So what I've done is I have cut out the gate piece here, but then I've cut out the actual gate completely. So I've just used the frame. I have done the aperture going through, but I've put the aperture going through this piece and then stuck the whole thing down onto that, that um, lovely lipstick layer because I didn't want it to go all the way through. You could, but I didn't want it to go all the way through. And I've stuck window sheet on there and I've also taken just some little strips of cardstock to make my, um, to make my window panes. So I've actually just stuck those there. My blind here is a little bit of designer series paper and as you can see I have scored that and then just folded it a little bit um, and attached it onto the, um, onto the back of the window. And then I've used the dies to cut out, um, to cut out this, this piece here. Now this um, window box has been made with punches. So what I've done here is to take something that is a tad under um, an inch and a half wide and feed that through. Um, this is, as you can see, hopefully the everyday label punch and feed this through again. And you can do this with, there's, there's various ones you can do this with. You can also uh, do this with story label and other things. So I've made a great big long one here, but you get the idea. And then you can trim down wherever you want that window box to be. So I've done it just about here. And then you can make up layers uh, again, as I've done there. Um, so that's how you make your, your little window box. Um, so there you go. That is some ideas that you can um, of things that you can make with Grace's Garden. It's a lot more versatile than first I thought when I saw it, um, and I've really enjoyed having a um, having a play with this one. I'm also in my head. I'm thinking, oh, if this um, carries over, what about Christmas time and having a Christmas. Um, having a Christmas tree inside the window or have this the other way round and look through the window onto a view. Um, I've also seen people use the beautiful you ladies um, stamps and this one here, which is, um, these are, let me grab this, beautiful moments. I've seen some of these stamps um, through the garden gate or you could use through a window um, and those look really lovely as well. So yeah, really quite versatile. So that is Grace's Garden and it does come in a bundle. So if you buy the two together, um, you get a 10% discount. You can get them from me at elizabethscraftroom.blogspot.com. You can um, find me there. Or of course, if you've got already got your own demonstrator, do contact her and I'm sure she'll be like, delighted to help you too. Thanks for visiting and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon.